Aha, uh -huh, you're in the break, sucker. We need to know why the facility powered up after you shut it down. Crindo? Nothing matters. He's dead. We must see to it that no one else dies. He's dead and I killed him. Your self-pity may get many more killed. I don't know why it powered up again. That's what you said about the behavioral regulators. I didn't command it to kill my father. Then who did? Other Idril. Impossible. They don't even know about the Master Control Facility. The what? Somewhere in this sector is a planet with the Master Control Facility. It has the power to override all the others, but we never discovered its location. Who knew about it? Just my father and myself. And Omag. Omag? He must have deciphered the location. Omag the Ferengi? We've had dealings with him. He funded our work. We knew he was exploiting the priceless artifacts of our people for profit, but it was the only way. Omag, he betrayed me and killed my father. Will you help us find him? Gladly. Tell me what I have to do. Contact him. Tell him you have found a planet far greater than the Master Control Facility. Tell him you need his help to dig it up. We always met in a rundown starbase in the Jadaf system. It's run by an old Klingon arms trader named Lorak. Lieutenant, I want you to use Crindo to set a trap for Omag. Take Ensign Gonzalez to assist you. Come on, Crindo. You're going to call Omag from your shuttle. Why? He'll be suspicious if you call from a Federation frequency. I'll need to repair my shuttle's comm system. Picard to Lieutenant Barclay. Meet Crindo and Lieutenant Monroe in Shuttle Bay 2 and help Crindo repair his long-range communication system. Aye, sir. How is Clea? She's doing well, all things considered. She's adjusting to life on the Enterprise. I want to see more Barclay. He's the hero of this. Picard's okay, too. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right on time. Crindo, can you help me with this positional stabilizer? I have a newer one in my spare parts. Monroe, this may take a while. I'll let you know when we're done. All right. You know, I just Lieutenant noticed... Monroe, Go ahead. Will you please come by my quarters? So no starship on this uh, level. Just know something. I'm always I always have the hazard suit on, even though I don't have Alex? a hazard suit. What is it, Telsia? Hey, find me later. Maybe we can talk. Ah, that's what you think, Telsia. Sorry, I can't talk right now. She really wants to get past me. Let me go block her way too. <laughs> the AI gets so confused. Doesn't know what to do. Uh, yeah, I think I almost made it go infinitely. No. Oh. I'm enjoying this a lot, actually. Okay, we're done. We're not talking to Telsia. Fuck Telsia. Telsia is a butt. Uh, let's go to Cargo Bay. Uh, there's nothing here. So let's go to Shuttle Bay. Well, I just came from here. That's why she wants to get out of my way. She doesn't want me to scan her. Invasion of privacy. Alright, and triple lift. Hazard crew quarters. I'm gonna show you something interesting. I think it's foolish for the captain to trust Crindo considering what he's done. That's probably a little strong. From what I heard, the Hazard team is going to keep him on a short leash. Huh. Leash or no, he orchestrated an attack on the Enterprise. He controls an army. And we're just letting him go? I think you're misinterpreting things. That attack was ruthless, and several of my friends are still in sickbay. It's hard to misinterpret that. <laughs> so, uh, this guy was getting quite emotional, don't you think? And look, look at his ears. He's a Vulcan. If you know anything about Star Trek, they, they're they not supposed to have emotions. So it's hilarious. In its own right. Uh, oh no, 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 I don't want to talk to fucking Telsia. Fuck that, no. No, 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 no. 
let me reload that. God, that was such a trap. I kind of walked in there, she just fucking cornered me. God, I need my space, tells you. Jeez. Alright. Uh, oh wait, we know she's not in there. There's Thompson. But she still gets her own guard, really? Oh, my quarters. Dr. Clee is very beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's pretty hard to keep my mind on my duties. How are his spirits? Low. He's despondent over his father. Inagor was a great man. Well, Krinda would never admit it, he admired his father greatly. He always wanted his father to be proud of his accomplishments. I want to see him, but I can't. I cannot forgive him for his deadly lies. Okay. I could either say, uh, you should see him, or, or, I could do good, what he did is beyond forgiveness. Good. What he did is beyond forgiveness. Yes. And yet, I do miss him. He really did have good intentions in his heart. Lieutenant Monroe, I have a new toy to show you. That sounds pretty fun. I'll do that. Yeah, so we're not, we're totally not gonna, we're not gonna fucking meet up with Telsia, cause fuck that. Decade Armory. They hate Telsia. I don't. Yeah, well, actually, no, I hate. It's, it's fucking total hatred. Alright. So I'm pretty sure we get pretty much the last weapon in the game right here. Let's go to Sick Bay. Just because I, I, I enjoy going there. I also probably went the wrong way again. Transporter room. The brig. Oh, you can, you can, we can actually go in here. So we could just kind of just lock me in there and just go, haha. No one's, no one's watching it, and that's, that's the kind of shit that goes on on the Enterprise if nobody's watching the fucking brig. God, Picard. Do you even care? Oh, no one's here. Hello, Lieutenant. Do you require medical assistance? God, yes, I do. So I guess I'll go here and recharge my armor despite the fact I don't have a hazard suit. I'm glad you were able to arrange for Sydney to be transported back to the Enterprise. She was in bad shape. Well, I guess she's okay now since she's not in sickbay. Alright. What do you have for me? We've replaced a photon burst with a quantum burst weapon. It uses micro quantum torpedoes. You can test it in the new holo program. Oh, he was quicker on the draw. Darn. Oh, here we go. And is it gonna be the same fucking level? Yes, it is. So, I have a giant torpedo launcher, and it homes in. Let's try and do something like, go a little bit somewhere interesting. Oh look, see, that you didn't see this part of the map here. Let's, let's try the teleporter. Oh, that's amazing. So, yeah, we have a literally a torpedo launcher here. And it homes in. And it's really powerful. We could also take this elevator back up. I can miss and I don't have to give a fuck. So now you saw all that entire map. Almost as good as a Klingon! That's a Barkley to, Mon Barkley to Monroe, we're finished. We can transmit now. Oh, good. He still stutters in his speech. Uh, good. But Barkley, Barkley to Monroe. Bar B Barkley. Deck seven, shuttle bay. We're just going all over the fucking Enterprise today. Warning, exiting area. Are we though? We're not. Yeah, there's no starships, by the way. So I, I know that's what you're hoping for, but no. Alas. Omag is on the Starbase. He's agreed to meet Crindo. Take Crindo's shuttle to the meeting. We're keeping the Enterprise out of range of the Starbase's sensors, so you'll be on your own. I'm ready. Q, 
Keep the engines hot, Sydney. We may have to leave in a hurry. You got it. Keep your weapons out of sight unless we need to defend ourselves. Hopefully, Omag will come quietly. Okay, Crindo. Let's go to the bar. I have enough monotone people here. Was it Sydney like fucking unconscious before? Doesn't she get a day off? Apparently not. Whatever. Uh. So let's see. Let's open the door that says red. No. Weird. Then he hands me a card, and all it says is "born." Born. That sounds familiar. Anyway, he keeps pointing at the disruptors like he wants ones. I wouldn't give a freak like that any kind of a weapon. No kidding. Well, let's keep looking around. There's apparently a, a Gorn somewhere. Yay, more golden starships. Fucking two of four so far. Maybe right now I'm toward triple felt hands. Oh dude, Endorians. That's a that's a Star Trek race. Full of Star Trek. This old star base has seen better days. You know, we do not look like we're we're from around here. The Ferengi Omag is looking for new clients. I wonder if he's in the VIP room. The Ferengi. I mean, we literally look like tourists. Alright, and Golden Starship again. <laughs> Just all over the fucking place. classical human and Endorian styles. That sounds terrible. I'm in. Excellent. There's just one thing. We need a practice space. A practice space? Wait a minute. You're not thinking of my cargo bay. The acoustics are great in there. <laughs> they, they, the characters don't even look at each other when they talk. What the hell are we supposed to be doing here, actually? Oh, no. There's a door here. Oh, yeah. Da 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 uh, let's talk to I'm this guy. the commander of the transport vessel Kaitan. My uh, friend here tells me you're looking for transportation. Yes, indeed. If it's a big vessel. Big vessel? The Kaitan is a Wudan class transport vessel. Should I know what that means? And let's just say it's big. I've outhauled Romulan starships, not just the D cruisers either. I can carry more cargo than even the big Dideridex class ships. What's the cargo? Only myself. Ten transport containers of domesticated Targ, and no questions asked. What's your destination? Didn't I just say no questions asked? I'll provide you with the coordinates after we depart the station. Three thousand latinum in advance, or no deal. Three thousand? We could almost buy a Klingon bird of prey for that. That's obvious, but I think where you're going, you'll need an experienced pilot. I'm sure for that money, we could buy a pilot, too. How about we give you 2,000 now, and another 2,000 when we reach our destination? 4,000 total? Hmm, I could do that. My ship is at your disposal, friend. We will have our cargo ready for transport in one hour. Let's see if we can get a drink before we leave. It might be hard to get Romulan Ale where we are going. Make mine a double. Alright, well... That's obviously Star Trek reference, uh, Star Wars reference, sorry. What are you looking at, human? Yeah, not so I could crush you with a single blow. Remember that, human. I have a quantum burst. I have bounced every race in the quadrant the out of this lounge bar. Is locked. You Only could be next, you Andari. Hey, bartender. Barkeep. You know, their aged Romulan ale Whatever, I don't care. is just the standard Romulan ale. They don't sell right away. Every couple of years, what are you having? Bunch of it out of storage. They change the label on the bottle. Oh, they sell it for you twice the price. Me. Really? Oh, that's terrible. It's true. She's right. Starfleet. What's more, it's you not all a century old. Absolutely. Some of it's from 150-year-old batches. Others from 50. I thought the, I thought the bartender has to let me in. Yeah, I, I, you're just noticing now that apparently. Well, I'm just noticing now. Oh, I'm gonna dance too. Is this turning you on, Ensign Monotone? You look as if you can handle yourself. Yep. I'd still watch my back if I were you. You have four eyes. Sorry, I can't talk right now. What's the biological reasoning for that? Disgusting. What are you looking at? The VIP lounge is locked. Only the bartender can get you in. Well, get me fucking in there. I'll have another drink. Oh, what? Now that activates? Fuck. How much to get into the VIP room? Ha! 
You have to prove your worth. You'll have to beat our Nosakin friend in melee combat. Ah, oh, shit. You dare trifle with me, Federation? Die. You know, at least he was a good voice actor. Get him, Monroe! This is pretty hazard team. Yeah, just get Debbie Mouse one him. Oh, good work. Fucking melee combat. Get him, Monroe! Alright, let me save it here. This is useless attack. Oh, dude, this music's badass. Nice job. Here's the code to the VIP room. Come back when you want a job as a bouncer. <laughs> oh, he's not actually dead. What's the point in that? I could crush you with a single blow. <laughs> He's still Remember saying, that. he's still I'm talking shit. You, that guy is Ardrek Luxor. Now why would a famous rising musician be here? I don't know, maybe he's searching for his next bold new look. Here? On a Klingon starbase? Right. There he is. Walk over to him without looking back at us. Ah, Crindo. Sit down, my friend. Where did you find this new master control facility? Where'd you find the old one? Goodbye. Sit down, Omeg. Let's keep this friendly. Friendly? The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. Ferengi rules of acquisition number 48. Sorry, never heard of this master control facility. Uh, I don't, I don't know which rule. Fine, let's just keep your ears open. Rule seven: Keep your ears open. Where is the master control facility? I heard you, but I don't know about this controlling facility, master. Rule sixty: Keep your lies consistent. All right, you caught me in an inconsistency. So here's the truth. I don't know where the master control facility is. Rule 85. Never let the competition know what you're thinking. I don't intend to. And I've never heard of your master control facility. You lying Ferengi! Tell the truth and they accuse you of lying. Just like Rule 285. No good deed ever goes unpunished. Uh, so how do we know you're telling the truth? Or, you're telling the truth is nothing more dangerous than an honest businessman. You're telling the truth? There's nothing more dangerous than an honest businessman. Rule 27. <laughs> then I'm too dangerous for you, because I'm telling the truth. How do we know you're telling the truth? Rule 181 says... Not even dishonesty can tarnish the shine of profit. Because I don't want to know where it is. If I knew the location of the master control facility, my customer would be afraid I'd sell it again. Why give him incentive to kill me? No! I merely sold Crindo's data from those old ruins and let my customer fiddle about with those star charts to actually find it. But I gave you false data! False data? Now who's the liar? Of course I lied. I'm too smart to trust you. But dumb enough to trust the shuttle I gave you. Rule 99. Trust is the biggest liability of all. Your shuttle transmitted all the real data to me. <laughs> you son of a... Rule 31. Never make fun of a Ferengi's mother. Insult something he cares about instead. I'll kill you! No, you won't. Omag, give us the name of your customer and you can go. Rule 76. Every once in a while, 
declare peace. But war is good for business. Rule 34. And here's another rule. Let's you and him fight. Latinum for Federation heads! Gonzalez, stay here with Crindo. Aye, sir. I'll clean up this place. Okay. He disappeared. Oh god, they're fucking wrecking me. All of a sudden, I took a lot of damage, which is the theme of this game so far. Okay. Aye, sir. I don't have this mess. I don't appear to have any weapons that aren't just total poop, and I, I now am missing that rapid fire weapon. Come here. Oh, at least the staff fucking one hits them. Kind of sucks. Is it? It's, it's a sad day when this is actually the most effective weapon I have, and I'm apparently not supposed to have it because uh, I have no iridium ammo or whatever. So we go switch to something like. I don't know, but that's probably overkill. Just this room kind of sucked. I can just kind of do this while they're walking toward me slowly. Oh, and here we go. Do you think you're doing enough damage there? What does that guy even have? Well, whatever, he's dead. Let me go back for that ammo. I mean, I'm in no rush. No, apparently we're out of uh, health for that. So I guess I'm just fucked. But the sad thing is I actually caught him. And he just disappeared on me. Oh, well, apparently can't go through there. I'm gonna go through here. No, I don't know. Oh wait, I'm I, I'm supposed to go here. I wait. I really. Yeah, I got the shotgun secondary. All right, and get that guy. Fucking seriously, this thing sucks. You know, I think this is an experiment to make like the the least functional weapons imaginable. Uh fucking just stab his ass. Oh my god, that almost hit me. I'm pretty sure I got her. Yeah I did. Alright. Now we can go. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, can I make it over here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Oh well, I may have fucked myself. Da 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 da. da. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> see, look, there's a fucking golden starship in there. Do you see that? Wow. Good shit. Oh, there you are. Alright, let's try the crate this time. I don't know how else I'm supposed to do it. There we go. And there we go. Nice golden starship. What There's nothing even in here. It's just they didn't even complete the map. Well, whatever. Explosions. Monroe's all about the property damage. Alright, hopefully hopefully there will be nothing here. And we're exiting the area, so I guess that's it for this one.